North Carolina fans may see him, and I know you love player comps, and I say that sarcastically, may see him in a little bit of the Theo Pinson mold. Is that accurate or not? To, uh, in terms of the passing uh, and, the, and the size, but not the, uh, the athleticism, def, uh, definitely not. But I think in terms of the size and being able to handle the ball at, 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 at three position, I think that makes, makes a lot of sense. Um, not the strongest of outside shooters as well, but I think Theo is a much better slasher attacker where Ingram is a little bit more methodical when it comes to that. For a guy that doesn't shoot as well from the perimeter, you know, he he does have the ability to score in different ways. Give us some ideas of what those look like. Well, yeah, I think I think his his numbers, whether it's um, three point shooting or you know, you can look at his free throw shooting has uh, was average at best, maybe a little sub uh, subpar freshman year was was not great as a sophomore. So the shooting is definitely a concern. Um, you know, it's not like he just, he can't shoot. Uh, he had 30, uh, his, his numbers were pretty much similar, both, both years hitting uh, around 31 each year and he can hit from, from deep. Um, but I, I think that, you know, freshman year teams would play off him a little bit. We saw what, what, you know, how that has bogged down UNC's offense the past two years, but he can hit them. His, he did have a, uh, you know, a good synergy number this year on, on spot up. So I do think there's some tweaks that can raise the percentage. Um, we're not talking like a Cormac Ryan up to maybe 40, but maybe up to 35%, I think, would be realistic. Um, in terms of what he likes to do, as I said, methodical, pick and roll, uh, good vision, but he's not kind of a quick ball mover. He he likes to probe the defense. Uh, if, he, if he's catching on the wing, he's going to try to use his size to almost back you down, similar to Pete Nance, although a little bit more, I'd say dangerous doing that because uh, he, he does have definitely more agility in, in terms of that. So not a, a direct comparison, but he's going to try to use the size, back you down uh, and, and get a shot in the mid range at the rim or, or kick out uh, or use the pick and roll uh, coming off of that. But he's not a guy that's going to blow by you off of, off of uh, you know, first step or, or one move. So it, it is a little more methodical. Yeah, Sean, you were talking about the uh, Theo Pinson thing, or I guess Joey was, and then, uh, the assist rates. I'm just looking back through Ken Palm numbers. And one thing that people like to track is uh, assist rate. I think you harped on it a little bit before, Sean. That's basically like how many assists an individual uh, is accounts for um, while they're on the court. So in conference play, which is probably a more a better sample, uh, Theo Pence in his senior year, which the year he played a lot of point forward, his assist rate was 27.4. And for Ingram last year, he was at 28.8 in conference only um, stats. So that's that's really good. You consider how well of a passer Pinson was that year, how much he had the ball in his hands, and Ingram's rate is a little bit higher. Uh, I think another thing you see is they were both, excuse me, really good rebounders. Uh, you look at their offensive rebound percentage and defensive rebound percentages, and they're not dissimilar. Pinson offensive rebound was at 6.7. Uh, which is top 25 uh, in the conference that year. Defense's percentage was 18.5, which was top 20 in the conference that year. And then you look at Ingram, he was at 9.5 offense, top 10 in the Pac-12 last year. And defensive rebounding was at 18.4, which was top 12 in the Pac-12 last year. So there are some similarities. I think uh, the, the main deficit for Ingram is just his shooting percentages. Uh, I would say they are below average and, you know, each range, free throw, field goal, and three-point uh, percentage. Uh, and if I'm stepping on your toes, Joy, with the question you might ask, I apologize. But I do think um, the North Carolina staff's thought is that having R.J. Davis and having Armando Baycott will open things up for him a little bit more, and that some of the shots that UNC missed last year that were open, that were created by others, that Ingram is capable of knocking them down, he just didn't at Stanford because he was higher up on the scouting report. Um, now, whether or not that's not going to happen, we'll see. But I think that's kind of what the UNC staff is, is banking on. 